So anyway, I was having a rough, uh, rough morning. Uh, this uh, fair project thing is just really, uh, really hard for me. Uh, harder, it just gets. I don't know. I know how to do it, and I do it really well. Um, it's just emotionally difficult. Anyhow, this is a sword I uh, started a few days ago for Gwenny, made out of the Brazilian hardwood. Then I'm wood burning some stuff onto it. Um, I brass small brass nailed the uh, hilt on. I decided to do something a little a little different with that. Instead of the basic cross, I went with a, kind of a rakish feel. And then I've got some leather there. I'm going to uh, wrap the, uh, the grip in for it. So I hope she likes it. I think she will. So I'm going to get this wood burning done, get the painting work I want done on it. And then I'm going to, um, I think, just linseed oil uh, this one uh, once it's ready. Um, but uh, it's actually kind of, it's nice to have wanted to, despite feeling kind of meh, to uh, want to get in here and get this one uh, kind of done and clear my plate for something I'm going to try. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot of blacksmithing out at the forge today. I kind of got an inspiration for uh, some copper smithing. Um, I still haven't found what the name of them are. I'm sure somebody knows, and I'm sure I can just take a few minutes and find it on the computer, but I'm trying to avoid doing that, so I'm going to poke through my books when I get a chance. <clears throat> um, one, of the, one of the ways the Viking people uh, wore necklaces. I'm not wearing a Viking necklace. Gwenny picked this necklace for me today. It's uh, antique chevron canes that uh, Draco and I got at an antique store in Newport, Oregon a couple years ago. And then these bone skulls come from a rendezvous in Utah named Blondie, which a lot of people who might watch this will know her. Uh, some flat blacks up here and stuff. Some neat stuff on this piece. Gwenny picked that. No real surprise there. Um, anyway. So we're going to get on this guy, and we're going to see if we can get it done before the party starts uh, so that uh, Gwenny will be able to uh, run around with her new sword, and uh, I think the kids will enjoy that. So anyway, I got the wood burning portion of this uh, piece done, and then uh, so the next step is painting. So I need to get a little bit of water for that, but uh, so yeah, that I kind of like that I kicked that guard over on the hill and uh, it's looking pretty nice so yeah, the one side will have the vine on it the other side won't so anyhow I got the paint done and I've now oiled it rubbed it in um, really pretty wood and uh, it's feeling pretty good so I'm just going to get the uh, the wrap the leather on and uh, so I, I mean I do I, I think that works that the doing something a little different with the guard um, and uh, yeah not too bad not too bad so I got the the leather guard on the grip on uh, on the the hilt rather uh, I did some upholstery tack stuff there, and a tiny tack there, and a crossover wrap. Um, so it looks pretty attractive. That leather is some scraps I got from uh, uh, another merchant uh, crafter at the Washington Midsummer Fair two summers ago. Um, I think they're called Leather Mystics. Anyway, um, I. Uh, some of that green I thought it was good with the overall composition so uh, Abigail just went to get her daughter Gwenny hi Gwenny hi. what do you think that's for you well you pick it up it's yours what do you think about it how's that feel good you feel good get your hand, hand closer to the, to the cross there you go what do you think good yeah well that's yours I have one more little thing I want to do on it, and then I'll bring it out for you, okay? Okay. All right. So, I got the couple little detail things I needed to get done uh, after showing it to Gwenny. Uh, Abigail's holding it for me so I can get this filmed. Yeah. So anyway, it came out okay. Um, I'm having that weird uh, self-evaluation about art thing going on. But um, this Brazilian, 
Brazilian hardwood's pretty neat. Pretty neat color. Pretty. Uh, I like the cinnamon color with the uh, black peppering in it. Pretty neat. So, anyway, um, hope Gwynny enjoys it. And I hope she gets lots of bad guys with it.